Tiratato Katoa, good evening. The Race Relations Commissioner, Meng Foon, has been forced to defend his donations to political parties. It was revealed today he donated to Labour MP Kitty Allen and gave her a rent subsidy in Gisborne. Foon says it's something his family's done for years, but ACT leader David Seymour says he's supposed to be impartial and should step down now. National correspondent Amanda Gillies reports. Hi, team. News Hub was with Kitty Allen in 2020 as she campaigned at her Gisborne electorate office. Today, that very office is part of a donation scandal. Well, I didn't take any monetary donations from uh, Ming Foon. But this is Kitty Allen's donations and expenses report from 2020. Ming Foon did donate $1,500, and his company gave her a rent subsidy of more than nine grand for that office in Gisborne. I felt pretty comfortable. It was well disclosed. Uh, it's, uh, it was his wife's shop. Um, it was an empty shop that they owned on the main drag. Uh, we paid some nominal sum. Here's the problem. Foon was appointed Race Relations Commissioner in July 2019 by the Labour government. The role is appointed by the Justice Minister, who was then Andrew Little. Foon is meant to be independent of the government. He doesn't see an issue. It's been a family tradition to donate to political. But, that, but you, you do have an independent role. Yeah, it, it didn't cross my mind. But the Prime Minister was today blindsided by the donation revelation. That is probably something that I'd be a little uncomfortable about. I wasn't aware of it until you've just asked me about it right now. But he was clear. I do think that people holding those roles need to be seen to be politically impartial. ACT Party leader David Seymour in Gisborne for Business said Foon should go, claiming he's not fit for his role. He's not politically neutral. Race relations are a very important and sensitive topic in New Zealand. You can't have someone who's playing under the table for one side or the other in that job. If he had any integrity, he'll go. I suspect he won't. If Chris Hipkins had any guts, he'd fire him. I suspect he won't. The people of New Zealand are going to have to sack the whole lot of them in October. Kitty Allen said she had no role in appointing Ming Foon in 2019. She was a backbencher. The Prime Minister later in the interview decided there was no red flags. He was comfortable with his minister. Nothing that the minister has just indicated uh, provides, provides me any cause for concern. Ming Foon, the former mayor of Gisborne, told News Hub that he and his family have long donated to political parties and figures. From former National MP Anne Tolly to the now mayor of Rotorua, Tania Tan he had no concerns or regrets and said he was independent. Amanda Gillies, News Hub. Political reporter Amelia Wade joins us now live. Amelia, OK, so is it OK that Ming Foon has donated to both sides? Ming Foon seems to think so. But the issue here isn't that he donates to both sides. It's that he donates at all. He's meant to be apolitical, which means having zero interest in politics. While there are no rules stopping commissioners from donating to political parties, the Human Rights Commission may be looking to update their guidance to protect that mana of the commissioner role. As for Kiritapu Allen, she should have declared that conflict of interest when she was made Justice Minister. She didn't. She's owned it. And that should take some of the heat out of uh, any calls for her job. Obviously, the bigger test will be moving forward and managing that conflict of interest. She is confident that there haven't been any issues so far. But the biggest test will be next year, if she's still Justice Minister, when she's looking to reappoint Ming Foon for another term. And she will have to recuse herself from that decision. OK, Amelia, thank you for your analysis.